a very common statement that I get on my frugal type of videos is that, hey, if everyone is like you, then the economy is gonna collapse. How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm gonna examine what will actually happen if people start to become as frugal as I am. The short answer to all this is that, yes, I do believe that the economy will collapse and very spectacularly if suddenly the next day, everyone suddenly dialed down their spending to as frugal as I am. But in truth, I think this is very unrealistic to assume because you're not gonna have decades of advertisement conditioning you to spend. All of a sudden, everybody's gonna turn off this switch and not spend as much anymore. Now check out this data from 2018. The US gross domestic product is about 20.9 trillion dollars. Of this amount, 14.2 trillion is consumer spending, which is roughly 68%. Now over the years, we kind of assume that GDP is gonna increase maybe two to 3% every single year. So this is considered a normal pace of increase. Now this graph over here shows the year over year increase in GDP. Now during the Great Depression in 1930s, you can see GDP decreased by six to eight percent. Dot com bus in 2001 actually increased by one percent instead of decreasing, so it's a very small increase. 2008, the housing bubble, it decreased by two and a half percent. So based on these, you can see that a very small decrease in GTP will have great impacts on the economy. So because consumer spending is such a large part of GDP, if consumer spending, let's say, decreases by about 3%, it's gonna reduce GDP by about 2% enough to make a dent in the economy, enough to cause massive layoffs. So my conclusion here is that very small amounts of consumer spending changes is gonna have a huge impact on the economy as a whole. If, let's say, everyone in the United States reduced their consumer spending by three to 6% or so, this means that GDP is gonna reduce by two to 4% enough to cause a very big problem in the economy as a whole. Now I'm covering all this because I wanna compare myself to the average American. The average American spends about $51,000 every single year. This is data back in 2013. I made a video a while ago covering that my bare bones spending is about $13,000 if I suddenly needed to spend that much. So if I stop traveling, if I stop buying a bunch of consumer electronic stuff, then yes, I can reduce that to only about $13,000. Now, $13,000 compared to $50,000 is a lot less. But realistically, I would say my spending, it's around eighteen dollars to $20,000 probably in the past 12 months. So I talk about these numbers because I wanna have a gauge for, well, if people are to be as frugal as I am, what is the percentage change? It means going from $51,000 to $20,000 a year. This in turn represents about a 60% decrease in consumer spending. Now, we were talking about three to 6% reduction and it's gonna have a huge impact on the economy as a whole already. But we're talking about 10 to 20 times as much reduction in consumer spending. So to put it lightly, you don't need that many frugal people like me to cause a havoc on the economy if you were to do this just overnight. You probably only need about 5% of the US population to reduce their spending by 60%. In other words, turn a regular person into someone as frugal as I am to create about a 2% reduction in GDP. And this in itself already, it's gonna cause massive changes in the economy. It's going to you know, cause a lot of problems. But certainly, I do not think this is gonna be an issue because people are not gonna change overnight most likely it's gonna be a very, very gradual change if people were you know, to watch my channel and suddenly go, hey, you know, I should do this as well. I should start spending less and start saving more. But the problem here lies in the rate of decrease in spending. If people are to do it gradually, the economy is gonna have time to adjust. All the businesses are gonna be able to sense this. All the consumers, are they're putting their money in this area instead of this other area where they're just wasting their money. People like me are gonna buy more durable goods, for example, bicycles, you know, things that are gonna last a lot longer, uh, foods that are more healthy for you. And 
Once the economy recognizes that there are demand there, there are gonna be all these entrepreneurs that are gonna go, hey, you know, the market demands has shifted to, you know, this other style where people are more frugal. So let's cater to those, that type of people. What's gonna happen is that if people are to gradually change into the more frugal type of person like I am, then, you know, the economy is gonna adapt along with it. And eventually you're gonna have all these companies that are catering to the frugal type of people. Uh, the people that likes to reuse their Tupperware, you know, they're gonna sell more glass type of ones rather than plastic ones. Just think of all the products that a frugal person would buy. Well, the companies that make those are gonna thrive instead. So what is the economy gonna realistically look like? I do not think it's gonna change overnight. Well, maybe people are gonna reduce their spending. Maybe it'll take a hit on 1% of the GDP or something. You know, this is gonna be like a major thing already because the government are gonna go, hey, you know, people are not spending as much these days. You know, we have a problem. The industry is gonna start to notice. They're gonna make changes. This is gonna have enough time for them to adjust. So in order for the economy to gradually reduce their spending by 60%, they're gonna to have to reduce their spending 1% every single year for 60 years. So this is gonna be a very, very slow change. And I think this is the way things would normally progress realistically. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this video put to rest this whole idea that, oh my gosh, the economy is gonna implode if everyone is frugal as I am. Don't forget to give me a like on this video. Let me know what you think is gonna to happen to the economy realistically if people start adapting all these frugal ways. And as always, don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.